Here we are, round two. We're gonna be on the play. Able to pack rat our opponents out last round. Don't have our turn one hand disruption spell, but this hand is pretty reasonable. Okay, so storm, twin, okay, probably twin. This is a tough call here, because if he has, like, fetch land, and then any spell, like Serum Visions, then he can just kill our Dark Confluent for value. Uh, we could Sculler him, but then kind of the same situation. Uh, if we path his guy, if he's a twin deck, we're not going to have the removal spell for his twin, but we are able to resolve Sculler. So I think that our most expendable piece here is Scholar. So the information that he'll give us and the for fact that he'll like force the opponent to lob him answer him is pretty important. I think we want to put Pillar under him so that he has to bolt the Scholar and he's left with Pillar in hand, which is much less useful than Bolt. Oh, except I did it wrong. I put the, the Bolt under him. Well, all right, our thinking was correct. The, uh, the card I clicked on was incorrect. We we're supposed to take Pillar for the reasons I explained. Well, that was a pretty good draw step there. So we know he has Pillar and Leak. So he's going to have to leak our spell. We can't remand it, so let's we'll recast it. I guess you just kill our Dark on front, too, so we're not in a super hurry to get that guy out there just yet. First thing we want to do, though, is attack. So now the issue is if he sacks his fetch land and mana leaks our Dark Blast. Then he's able to kill our Tide Hollow Sculler from the two cards in the graveyard before we can dredge back the Blast. So if we wait and do it on his end step, that will give us the best chance of resolving it. We could also do it there if he sacked the fetch land on our end step while well, the fetch is on the stack. He correctly played around it, though. So he's pillaring our guy. And we know he's got Remand, Leak, and Hand. One unknown that he just drew. He's about to have Bolt in Hand. I think we go for it here. He has to leak it. Assuming you get enough main deck, Blood Moon. Not gonna try to put it on that. And I think that we do not want Dark Blast here. It's only good against Pestermite at this point. We already have the path. So let's see, we know he's got Bolt, Leak, Remand. So we could try to play around Leak. Resolve this Thought Seize. So if he remands it, we can still resolve it. Okay, so the other card is Vapor Snag. Which is not especially good. So I think we want our Restoration Angel to resolve next turn. So I think we just take the Leak. We take the leak. <laughs> uh -oh. I 
wonder if that joke's ever come up. I'm sure it has. Let's take a leak with your thoughtsies. Alright, so he's planning to bolt it. So he bolts Dark Confidant. Leaves him with Snag and Reman. So you have perfect information. We do not want that. Um, Reband's really good against Lingering Souls. On the flashback. I think we're just going to Restoration Angel him on the end step. Force him to Remand on his turn, on his end step. Because we want both sides of the Lingering Souls to eventually resolve. So we just got Vapor Snag and two other cards. I think we want a Lingering Souls now so that next turn we can Scholar and Flashback Lingering Souls. not to snag. Snapcaster is also a card to consider here. Alright, so now he has perfect information of us. We're about to have perfect information of him with our Tide Hollow Sculler. Whoa, he's Delver? He's not even twin. Okay, Dark Blast is pretty good. Alright, so he's got two cards in hand. He's got Vapor Snag and an Unknown. So, even if it's mana leak, doesn't matter. So, we want to dredge Dark Blast. And we did not hit a Lingering Souls. Let's go ahead and cast it. And then we attack. Dark Blast might just be the Nutter Butter against him. It might be that uh, Young Pyromancer. Okay, so now the question is, do we Sculler or do we uh, Lingering Souls flashback? I think I want to Tide Hollow Sculler here. So we know he's got Vapor, Snag, and X in hand. So we either take the Snag, or he's in a weird situation where, like, he Snags with the ability on the stack, and then... Okay. Yeah, so... Alright, he's just got Island in hand. That's also an acceptable resolution. We have Restoration Angel, so we can Angel it on his draw step and make a sort of makeshift Vendillion click, which is really neat <laughs> when the Sculler has nothing under it. I've been waiting to try this out. I hope this works. Let's get a random card off Visions and a third Island. Let's see, how did he scry? Bottom, top. So he has one card on top. And he plays the island. Um, I think we do want to dredge here. And we're going to attack. Then on his draw step after he draws. He's in bolt range. The angel's image has been twisted. Alright, he elects to bolt the angel. He's still at 8, which is pretty low. We have a lingering souls in our graveyard still. Alright, so he manages to empty his hand. And I guess he probably bolts here. Why would he not just uh, 
in response, snap cast the mana leak and mana leak the angel. That seems way better, doesn't it? It's on pillar flame. Okay. I'm going to kill this guy. Or hold this land in case we draw like a pack rat or something. Really no sense playing it. We're gonna sack to get a basic anyway. So what do you do here? You put bottom, bottom. Okay, so he doesn't know about any of his library. We're gonna choose not to dredge dark blast. Them. Dark boss back. And did we hit a little ring souls? We did not. I'm just gonna go ahead and kill that guy. Attack. Hit your turn. Okay. I guess we will replay the turn. There's a the lingering souls. Alright, so Dark Blast is pretty good that game. Blue, red, these things are probably pretty good. Uh, damnation, things might get out of hand here. Disenchant, I didn't see anything. He might bring some stuff in. His stuff costs one mana, so that's probably not very good. Don't want these. Uh, this can be good against, it's good against Snapcaster Mage, but it's also good against our own Lingering Souls and our Dark Blast, so we probably don't want that. Rule of Law, also good against Snapcaster. It's a reasonable card to play here. We could kind of lock ourselves out of a game, though. I don't really want to do that. And then, yeah, probably not on those. Because these shut these off anyway. Alright, so now what's bad? I think we want most of our hand disruption. If Dark Confidant lives, he's really good. I think we want all of our big stuff, though. Because that's really... This is where we're leveraging the game. This would be included here. Like These are the ways we're winning the game, I think. Um, Path to Exile... I guess that's good against Delver. He didn't draw any young Pyromancers. A card can sort of take off. You know, the more I think about it, I think Damnation is not good in this matchup. So he's a whole bunch of spells. He's not really, uh... And he has Remand and Mana Leak, things like that. So I think we don't want to go that route. We just want the Swords. So I'm going to take out a couple things for those. We have 25 lands, which is probably too many. Tech Edge doesn't do a whole lot. I'll take out one of those. And just one of another card. Maybe one thought cease. So we don't want to get too low in life. Yeah, this is fine. We have the Dark Blast for his Delver, his Young Pyromancer, or whatever. Man, this card's good. Guy in case we need to Dark Blast on his end step. Otherwise, we just get a tapped shrine. I 
Now, I'm pretty sure he's got some way to stop what we're doing. Dark Confidant is more important than Tide Hollow Skeller, so we are going to lead with Tide Hollow Skeller. Alright, trade accepted. Mana leak for Tide Hollow Skeller. Alright, now he knows about all our stuff. That card's annoying. Get Jataxian Probe. I can't imagine how annoying Thought Cease is. Just being able to take the best card. I don't know why more people don't play that card. It's so good. I feel like Jataxian Probe and Thought Cease are like the two best cards in Modern. Just because it's giving you full information just allows you to do so much. And the reason we're not f 6 in here is because if he plays a creature, we want to do it on our upkeep. I guess we just stop on our upkeep. There we go, now I can F6. Is there are scenarios where we want to Dark Blast an upkeep and then dredge it back? Like if he goes Young Pyromancer, cast a spell, something like that. Alright, so now I think I want to go with Lingering Souls. Just because, again, I feel like he has an answer to a Dark Confont in his hand right now. So we're just going to... I mean, if he wants to use spells to kill spirits, by all means. But I don't really want to trade a spell for a Dark Confont just yet. Let's see if I can draw a Hand Disruption spell first. Maybe take out his Lightning Bolt. And resolve a Dark Confidant. It's kind of a late game way to win. The other thing this deck does, like, none of your cards are safe. If they're in your hand, they're very vulnerable because I have like 10 ways to have you discard them. And if they're on the table, I have so many ways to get rid of them off the table. I thought it's pretty good. It means we have to hold mana open for the rest of the game now. And it also means we bring in our disenchants for the next game, if there is a next game. I don't think I want to kill a land yet either. Killing a land is a thing that might happen though, just because he can't go like play a creature, equip, with like stuff open. Yeah, that's the power of Jataxian Probe. He has information to make this set up this play. We don't have information to play around it. So he's for sure going to blow this up here. We want to either tap his mana or get four damage in before we do anything. I'm assuming it's tap his mana. This way he can't like cryptic us or whatever. It also means that a single mana leak does not stop a thought cease. And he no longer has a pillar of flame. Okay, well that was the hand disruption spell we were trying to find. And now we're going to play the Dark Confidant. And we have the way to kill his creature. Use the steam vents. Now we have Restoration Angel to protect our Dark Confront. It's pretty neat. So we can attack. I'm going to go with Lingering Souls here. Uh, no thanks on the flashback. Actually, flashback could be pretty good, because we have the Path to Exile. Yeah, like we have Path for uh, if he get, draws a creature. So if he has like a spell in hand that he's sandbagging, he draws like Pyromancer, then cast Spell. 
That's two creatures, that's like the worst case scenario. But we can still path the one and he equips and dark blast the other one. So there's really no reason not to flash back there. So I think his plan at this point is to just try to burn us out. So we want to not die to our own dark on Fanon, I guess. But I don't think that'll be an issue. So we're going to attack first. So he goes to seven. I'm going to play this guy. Force him to do what he wants to do. Alright, fourth island, Sulphur Falls. I think he's just dead. Um, he could have, like, Anger of the Gods. Uh, more likely, he draws a Bolt. Bolt's our guy. And then we can only attack him to one. So, I think even if he draws Anger of the Gods, we're in a pretty commanding position. So we're just going to not play around that. We'll play around Bolt, Pillar, Vapor Snag instead of Anger. Yeah.